Good morning traders. Welcome to this week's Elite Wave Forex and Cryptocurrency Market Analysis Webinar. I hope you all had a great week. Um, so the market has been somewhat slow over the last week, but we have still been able to get some really good trading opportunities. And I hope you have watched last week's video uh, because uh, what we focused is playing exactly as uh, we have focused it. Uh, but before we get started, uh, if you'd like to join us uh, for the next course, we are hosting our next course on the 29th of May. So from the 29th of May, it's a 10-day Elliott Wave Principle course uh, that we host live. So you can purchase that course on our website. The website is trading-waves.com. You'll find all the details there. We're running a special on the course up to 40% off. If you're interested in this course, you can make your purchase uh, on the website. So the course starts on the 29th of May. Right, so and if you've if you have not already done so, please subscribe to the channel, give us a thumbs up, hit that bell notification button so that you get an alert the next time we upload a video. All right, so let's get started. So under the description of all our videos, you'll find our contact details that includes uh, that includes the, our social media pages. Let's just open up there. All right, so you'll find all our details. All right, uh, just open one of the videos here. Let's just do that. Just want to open one of the videos so you can see here. So if you just click on show more, you'll find our contact details. There we go. As well as there's links to our social media pages. That is our Twitter and Facebook. So you'll find a lot of the befores and after charts that will help you see somewhat how we look at the market. And that detail as to how we look at the market is obviously covered in our course. So Elliot Wave from A to Z. That is what we cover for 10 days uh, in the course. So after the 10 days, we don't leave you alone. You stay with us for a year or two or lifetime, depending on the option that you take. So just check out those options on our website. So let's get started. What are we looking at going into the new week? Let's so start with uh, Euro US dollar and just a recap of on what we had discussed last week. Right, so this is Euro US dollar. Before I go to that Euro US dollar chart, I want to show you what we I showed you last week and what the members are seeing on a day-to-day -day basis. Let's just go to resources and look at the instruments here. Let's go to Euro US dollar. We'll start with Euro US dollar as well as the DXY. So these are all the pairs that are available for our members. These pairs are all updated twice a day before the start of the London session as well as during the New York session. Uh, so all the one hour charts are updated twice daily. Let's go to Euro US dollar. All right. So if you look at the Euro US dollar forecast compared to what we said last week. So this is one, two. Where is this coming from? So you will see this clearly from the higher time frame. So first of all, from the higher time frame, the chart that we've posted uh, back at the end of March. So you see that we're focusing that this move that you're currently seeing on Euro US dollar is simply a three wave move. But there is a likelihood that this here does not just play out as a single wave, but rather can play out as something like this where this comes and takes the top, comes and breaks the low before it actually pushes to the upside to make that three wave move. So where we are now is here. We are currently on this move here, pulled back here uh, on the euro. Let's go to the live chart so you, can, so you can see that. So if that is the case, that means your A will still remain, your B will rather be here, and then we'll be looking for a C here. This is a daily chart, by the way. So we'll be looking for this. So it will not be surprising to see the euro come and take the low here at around uh, 0 0.400, 1,0400. So that will not be a surprise. Let's go to that euro US dollar chart. So that is what you're seeing on the daily. That's exactly what we've been referring to. We have been focusing that we are going to have a move like this. We're going to have a move like this. We're going to have a move like this, which gives us our A, B, C corrective structure. This was the forecast initially, so from the 30th of March. But as you can see, there's a very high likelihood that this is making a regular flat like this here, which could pull back, makes it breaks the low here, and still make a move to the upside. Let's just increase the uh, size here. Uh, let's have a look here. So which could break here and make a continuation move like that. So let's just, uh, I just want to make this a little bit thicker. Let's try it again. So you've got here an A, B, C move that 
was forecasted, as you can see, just made it thicker here, the font A, B, C. Just give you the detail this way. But likely that this has made already a three-way move. It's not pushing up higher in a straight line. Likely that we're going to have one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Then you're going to have this uh, red degree as W, X, Y coming to take the low here before we get that uh, B and a C to the upside. So that is essentially what we are looking for here with this move. So we're currently on the pullback here with the Euro. So that is the expectation that will probably likely come and break the low at 0 0.0500, 0 0.0400 before we make a push to the upside. So let's keep an eye on that. So what will that mean? That will mean that this is now the corrective structure and what we are forecasting here currently that this is a one, two, three, four, five, We'll only start here, one, two, three, four, five, so that we can have that A, B, C corrective structure. So that's a bit of education there. Right, on the DXY, but before I go to the DXY, let me go back to the four hour on the Euro so we can complete this. So this is the Euro on the four hour. Let's just have a look here. Is this ready for the move to the upside? It looks likely that this is gonna continue to the downside. But even if it does continue to the downside, it should give us a little bit of a pullback and then continuation to the downside. So that is what we'll be expecting on the Euro. The DXY is the exact inverse of what the Euro is doing. As you can see here, it's a similar structure. Let me go back to the daily so you can see as well that we are looking at the, the same thing. So it is that one single move that we have been expecting on the euro as well, that it does one, two, three. But as you can see, this will just be a three single straight line. So the likely thing to happen is uh, just like with the euro, that this that is currently pulling back here makes this move here, which would have been the A, B, C that we're actually looking for. Regular flat, nothing has changed. It just means that we've got a regular flat instead of a zigzag here. And then we can have a move like this. We can have our C. So that is what we're looking for here. Let's go to the four-hour chart and just go into the detail onto this B structure here. All right. So that is a, a DXY. Let's have a look at that for hour. Right. So on the four-hour, this is what we're looking for, that this could continue to the upside. You could have this one doing that. Breaks the top here at around 106 before making a push to the downside. So that is a likely thing to happen there between the DXY and the Euro. All right, so let's continue with the rest here. So pound US dollar, right? So pound US dollar, as uh, we've indicated last week as well, I'm on the four hour here. Yeah, let me stick to the four hour. So as we indicated last week, the pound US dollar has got two possibilities that this has completed and is making a one, two, and a three. But that will be determined by how the euro and the DXY plays out, whether this is going to play out like that, or we are going to have this as a complex B correction, which will be something like this. So if the euro continues to come down as we are anticipating, the pound will also make a complex B correction in this fashion coming down here before we make a move to the upside. That will be a WXY corrective structure to the upside as far as pound is concerned before we make a move to the upside. So that will be determined here. Will we break out here? Doesn't look likely. Likely that we continue to come down here with uh, the pound. So that means some short term US dollar strength going into the new week. So let's see how that plays out. US dollar CAD, right? So US dollar CAD is uh, making a move to the upside. Uh, so we've uh, looked at this uh, last time. So remember that we had forecasted this that uh, the US dollar CAD will break the low here before making a push to the upside. This we had forecasted this whole move here on the uh, US dollar CAD, we focused it to the downside. Didn't quite break the low here that we wanted, but reversed around here. And we're expecting that this will push to the upside. But how is this move starting here? So this is could likely still be a little bit more sideways. So with the short-term dollar strength, it will not be surprising to see this push slightly higher like this. This is a move up, this is a pullback. So likely that we can get to around these levels uh, on the US dollar CAD. So that's what we're going to be looking at. All right, so US dollar chief similarly expecting a bit of a pullback to the upside. Now, two things here that are happening with the US dollar CAD. This, is, this looks like a three-wave structure here. Could this now make one more move down before we pull to the upside? It is likely, or rather we can just have this one 
making a pullback here hey, and continuing to the upside with the rest of the US dollar pairs. Let's just go back to the, here to the daily so we can see the overall structure and why we're anticipating that. So that is the structure here on the US dollar chief. So likely that we can have this one doing that to around this level with that short-term US dollar strength. Either that or this can make one move first before we push to the upside. Can even break this low here before pushing to the upside. Do not break it around this level. So let's see how that plays out and see if we can build that structure. Okay, Audi US dollar and New Zealand US dollar are making a simple structure really. Uh, it has already made a passing move to the upside. We are coming down here with a three-wave structure. Okay, we've already seen this. We've talked about this last week and got referred to the last uh, week's video. We're anticipating that we get a move like this. But this will be too, uh, too, too simple. Not that it won't happen, but you may just have uh, a bit of a sideways move here before this actually comes down. We can have a structure like that. So likely that we can have this playing out as a regular flat. Could even be a deeper structure playing out with a complex B correction as follows before we make a move to the downside. But that's what we're going to be looking at on our US dollar. Now again, just to go to the four-hour chart here, so you can see this uh, closely. So let's have a look here. So likely that we can have that move to the upside before coming down. So this is what we're looking for. Currently, that is the move, that is the move, that is the move. We're anticipating that this continues to, con uh, continues to make a move to the downside as follows. So let's just show here. The continuation here will be from this, from this. Are we going to get this doing that before coming down? That is what we're looking for, for this to continue to the downside as we've been anticipating for some time. Right, so New Zealand has got the exact same structure as uh, Audi. So uh, you can see here the Audi structure, or rather the New Zealand structure is a lot clearer. As we've got here a clear regular flat, we're coming down with this move here in yellow, in red, one, two, three. Uh, let's draw it cleanly. One, two, I'm on the four hour, one, two, three, and looking for this to continue lower, to continue lower, to follow this structure. We already have this one here, having made one, two, three up, one, two, three down, five waves up, giving us this as an ABC regular flat. That's how we got this one here. ABC regular flat, looking for this to continue to the downside. That is a uh, New Zealand US dollar. Now that concludes uh, the US dollar pairs, except we've got uh, Euro, US dollar za. US dollar za, you have to look at this one on the weekly to understand the structure in which it is making. We are at all time highs. Uh, on uh, US dollar za. If we break out of this structure, we're going to see even more highs to about 22. But what are we? What is this playing out? It's probably playing out an expanding flat here. We already have a one, a two. Uh, yesterday we did say that this is actually not a five wave structure because it violates the five wave rules. Okay, so what you would have here is uh, you would have this one playing out this as a regular flat. So that's your regular flat in this fashion. You've got that move, you've got that move. So let's have a look at how this will be playing out in WXY corrective structure. Look out for this structure here. We break out, we are going to see even higher here before this breaks to the downside. Just showing you one high level structure here, and that is what we're looking for. If this breaks out, continues to break out of this structure, we're going to see uh, US dollars uh, break even higher. Either that, or we can see this making this structure first before the push to the upside. So we are at a critical area here now. We need to get that confirmation first before we make our moves. All right, so last week we said the theme for the uh, yen pairs is that we are expecting only short-term pullbacks to the upside, but eventually we are going to expect, this is a weekly chart on US dollar yen, we are expecting that this will make a push to the downside like this. Let's go back to the daily, but likely all the yen pairs, we are expecting just a pullback for a continuation move to the downside. This is what you have here uh, on the US dollar yen, you've got a pulsing move to the downside here, three-wave pullback, WXY, we're expecting a bit of a push to upside. Can we see it 140 again before we drop? That is the expectation here on the US dollar yen. I'm going to go now to the four hour chart on the rest. Okay, so pound yen. Remember the bigger structure that we're looking for. Uh, again, here, expect this one to have played out here, this three wave structure. Okay, we saw this one last week, three wave structure. 
pushes to the upside, but eventually we want to see this drop to the downside. Euro US dollar as well, rather Euro Yen, expecting that this one will pull back. So we already have one, two, three, showing us it's going to make a push to the upside. Can we get this one to do this? Breaks to the downside. Eventually we'll be looking for this one to break to the downside. Why is that? Because you've got this three wave structure here that has already played out that we're looking for there for to complete and make a move to the downside. That is a Euro chief yen, the same thing. Let's have a look at the chief yen. I'm gonna take this one to the daily so we can see it clearly. Right, so this is a chief yen. Chief yen again looks very impulsive. So we have we are seeing this one making one, two, three. This is the last five wave here. So there should be divergence here. Let's check that divergence for a continuation move to the downside. You can see that clear divergence. And again, guys, we always speak about our special indicator that we use to confirm moves. When I show you divergence, I'm not showing you the special indicator. I'm showing you a simple divergence from the oscillator, which is the RSI in this case, that this move will not be sustainable to the upside, but does not tell you exactly where. Our strategy, our indicator tells you exactly where you are going to get that move. So for now, this is just telling you that a move to the downside is imminent. But how far will that move? Will it just be a short term move? Is it just a pullback or, and then continue to the upside? Or will that be the end of the move and then continuation to the downside? That our special indicator, that is what it helps us with. That's what it confirms for us. For now, that's what you're looking at on Chief Yen. Right, CAD yen. So the rest of the yen pairs, you'll see that the structure is showing you that we are going to have continuation moves to the downside. I'm on the daily chart here. I'm just expecting this one to make this three wave move before the drop. Watch this in a couple of days for a drop. So don't miss that. If you uh, want to know when we're going to pull the trigger, you can join our groups. You can see which subscribe subscription is suitable for you so that you can get these moves before they happen. That is a clear three-wave move with a regular flat here. We're anticipating that this regular flat will start the drop, okay? That is a CAD yen, very clear on CAD yen. Now, New Zealand yen, let's have a look at New Zealand yen. The same thing here. You've got this structure on the New Zealand. Uh, again, here, I go back to the daily so we can see it clearly. The four hour is not so clear. Right, so New Zealand yen, we could be looking for this one to just break around here and then pull back. Okay, but eventually this will have to make a continuation move to the upside because this is a continuation structure here uh, on the New Zealand. Will it come back for one first or will it push from here? Could be the one that is uh, different on the yen pass that will continue to the upside. But let's just keep an eye on that one for now. We're not looking at to take any trade on that one. All right. That is uh, Audi Yen. Now, Audi Yen is, let's have a look at Audi Yen. So we've already made a move down here in three waves on Audi Yen, three wave pull back. Won't be surprising to see Audi Yen make a continuation to the downside like that. All right, so as you can see, we're anticipating that eventually we're going to see the Yen pair start dropping. And if that is the case, we expect the commodities and especially gold to continue pushing to the upside when they start dropping. If they continue to have those pullbacks, we should see that pullback on gold before continuation to the upside because gold and yen are inversely uh, correlated. So we'll expect something like this and for gold to continue when the yen pairs start dropping. So let's keep an eye out on that one. All right, so we have here silver. Silver has made this structure which I've shown last week here. This is a three-way structure. One, two, three. We are seeing a three wave move to the upside. Will this move be sustainable? But if you look at this one here closely, you'll see that we've got one, two, three here, one, two, three there, one, two. Likely that we have these three as well. So we can get this W, X, Y structure on silver. Let's keep an eye and see how this one plays out. Do we get this pullback in the lower degree? Let's see on silver. All right, so platinum. Let's have a look at platinum on the daily. So platinum, a very clear structure. It has made a three-wave move to the downside. Look at these three waves. We've been looking at these three waves. We've even traded this to the downside up to this level. We are now making another three-wave structure here on platinum, but doesn't look like this is the one that is going to drop here. We like silver, we've got one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Likely that we get a three here on platinum for upside which will give us this as a WXY structure, okay, on the purple degree. 
Okay, similarly here, you already have an A, B, C structure in the purple degree. That is your platinum. What will happen after that? Will it make this structure? One, two, three, before we push to the upside. Okay, so that is the likely thing that could happen on platinum, but we're keeping an eye on that. If you remember a couple of uh, weeks back, I said that we are going to see much lower levels on oil. We are on a long-term bullish, uh, rather bearish trend as far as oil is concerned. So every time you see these continuation patterns on oil, look to trade oil to the downside because the trend is long-term bearish. Uh, on oil, I did say that we could see levels as low as thirty bar, uh, thirty um, dollars uh, per barrel here on oil. Okay, let's see how this one plays out. But uh, long term downside on oil. Pound pairs. Let's have a look here. Pound pairs have been on an upwards trend since they made this move. Okay, so last year in September, after making this move, we said pound should see long-term upside. It has not been as fast as uh, the initial move here, but the trend is still upside. And in this case here, we're like expecting just a pullback and a continuation to the upside uh, on pound Audi. Uh, let me show you this on uh, the four hour. So on the four hour, as far as pound Audi is concerned, this is just uh, going sideways. We've got three waves down here. Likely that you can have this one make a move here in three. Okay, let's do this. Uh, three waves here. You could have this one doing that. Another three waves. Another move to the downside before we push to the upside. So that means we could be sideways for quite some time here before the move to the upside resumes. That is a pound Audi, pound New Zealand. So pound New Zealand is quite straightforward. It's make this three waves to the downside. It's a pullback here. Won't be surprising to see a move like this on Pound New Zealand. Three-wave pullback before continuation to the upside. Either that or we can have this one pulling down here first before we go. So just like this here. So we just need to watch at current levels whether this is going to make a move to the downside and, uh, and then like that. So this I will not trade until we have got a clear structure whether we've got to have this one completing like that. Only after that can we start looking for trade setups for more upside. So let's just keep an eye on that one. Excuse me. So this is now pound cat. Yes, pound cat made a three-wave move that is ready for a continuation to the upside. Not quite. Looks like this could still make a move here like this for a continuation to the downside before we see a move to the upside. We're keeping an eye on that one. Right, pound chief. Let's see. Pound chief needs to break out of this long term structure. Let's look at this on the daily. This long term structure. We need to see what pound chief is building here as far as this structure here is concerned. Okay, because after this structure, this is likely going to break much higher. So for now, you could still have this one coming down here and then continuation to the upside. Because what we are seeing here is that we've got this structure here. We've got this regular flat one, and that regular flat is a complex B correction. We expect that this could come down here first before we see that explosive move to the upside. So for now, likely that we can have this one doing that. That is a pound chief. Going to the euros. Now with the, the pound pass looking strong, it's no surprise to see euro pound continuing to the downside like that. So this is coming from a move like this. We've got one down, a move back here. So there's a likelihood that we can have this one breaking the low here before pushing back and making this structure before we make a move to the upside. But that is uh, all too premature to focus this move. But those are the, just uh, one of the scenarios in which we can play out. But we're monitoring this, which keep on uh, watching the structure. All right, so let's have a look at uh, the rest of the Euro pairs, Euro chief. Euro chief looking bearish. We've got one, two, three, one, two, three up, one, two, three back. We could have this one coming up here before we come to the downside. Okay, so that's high level structures that I'm showing you here. It's not necessarily a trade setup. Eurocad, a clear structure of a passing move that needs to correct. This is a Eurocad with the five waves, as you can see. One, two, three, four, five. We're looking for this one to start correcting here and then move to the downside. Clear, clear structure there on the Eurocad. Euro New Zealand, 
the same Euro New Zealand looks to be playing out from a three wave structure. You've got a three wave move here, you've got a three wave move here, you've got a three wave move here. Is this ready for a move to the downside? We've already started with the passing move. It's not going to go down in a straight line like that. You could see a pullback here that could give you a setup here before the drop. So keep an eye on that one on Euro New Zealand. All right, Euro Audi. The same Euro Audi, you have got a five wave move to the upside. We want to see this correction starting here now. All right, so that is what you have on uh, Euro Audi. I'm not even going on the detail on this one. Uh, Audi New Zealand, you saw this one was our chart of the week where we forecasted this move to the downside last week. We forecasted it from here. That is going to drop. It had dropped, but it had pulled back. But that move, that forecast from uh, the weekly uh, chart, uh, the chart of the week, rather, is still continuing. You should see this one has made a pulsing move. It's not surprising to see this one come down here in three waves, breaks the low here, would have this one making a regular flat and then coming down like that, coming down like that, will have a structure like that. So for now, look out for this one to come around this level. Right now, with the crosses, I'm not going to go into the details of the crosses. Just notice that the crosses are mostly bearish. Okay, so you just trade them to the downside. As you can see, we are on these long-term structures to the downside. If you look at this one, Audi Cat, we are on this uh, expanding flat after the move to the downside. We've got one, two, three. Now, any continuation pattern here on Audi Cat is an opportunity for you to sell it some more. Similar to Audi Chief, they are all just bearish, as you can see. Long-term bearish structures. We've been selling this from here. We've been selling this from here when it made this uh, structure as well. One, two, three down. One, two, three down. Another one here, here. So expect another one here to be a bigger pullback to the upside before continuing to the downside. But first, this move here needs to complete like that. So as I've said, all the, all the crosses, three waves. Okay, let's just have a look at this one here. You have got this one as, an, a, as a running flat, one, two, Possibly one more move to the downside before we see upside. All right, so I'm not going to go through the rest. Uh, let's go to the indices. Now, the indices, what you will see here is that the S&P 500 has made a move down here in, uh, is it five or three? Let's have a look here. It is three waves as one, as two, as three. Okay, what we are seeing here is that it's making this pullback here in a three wave fashion. So we could see this one coming up here like that to, for a move to around 440 before we see another leg lower. Okay, so that means we see a little bit more upside before we see a leg lower, anticipating that we play out this WXY structure on the indices. All right, guys, uh, if you like our content, uh, please give us a thumbs up. If you've not already done so, please subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to hit that bell notification button so that you get an alert the next time we upload a video. All right, so that is uh, uh, S&P 500. Let's go through the Dow Jones. Dow Jones, clear structures. Now, Dow Jones also has made this move to the downside already, which is looking like a three-wave structure as follows one, two, three, and we have got this one, just like the S&P 500. We've started a move to the upside. We've got a three-wave pullback. Will this now uh, result in a leg that will get back to this level before we make a move to the downside? We're not too worried about this purple move for now. For now, we just want to see this one continue to the upside, take the top so that we can see what happens when it takes the top. Either way, we should see this make a WXY move based on how it plays out here or that uh, means that this is the completion of this structure wxy structure and we have resumed the move to the upside but we need to get to this level first before we can determine that Dow Jones transportation similar we've already made a move to the downside just like the others one two three here one two three we're making one two three again here so this will not be surprising to see this one uh, spend some time here and making a move like that it's just so we can get another structure like the rest of the indices. Right, uh, let's have a look at uh, the NASDAQ. 
that strike has made a clear five wave structure to the downside. That's a clear three wave structure, five wave structure to the downside. What we are seeing here looks like the start of an ABC structure. Let's have a look here. Let me put in the green lines here. It's a leading diagonal, which could give us a three wave pullback before we make a move to the upside. And that move will be a A, B, C corrective structure, A, B, C. Okay, so we already have one, two, three, four, five. Could be an ABC correcting the whole move here. So let's watch and see how this one plays out here. Right, let's go to the DK. Right, so the DK, let's have a look at how the structure has now changed to what we've been looking at. So we have got here on the DK a three wave move to the downside, one, two, three. What we are seeing here is that the Nick is making another one, two, three wave move, and we are right at the top here. Will it push to the upside? If it pushes to the upside, what that means, that will mean that this correction is done and we're starting a move to the upside like that. Okay, now coming down from where we are, if we make one move to the downside here like this, that means that we are going to see a much flatter correction where we're going to have this one as a WXY corrective structure. So that means one move first before we go up, before we complete uh, this structure WXY here. So we had a critical area here. We want to see that confirmation. You don't trade to the upside, you don't trade to the downside before you get confirmation around this area. That is the knee K, right? The Nifty. Nifty, since breaking out of this structure, we've been expecting it to continue pushing to the upside, but uh, we are seeing that this should pull back here first before we break to the top. Remember what we're seeing here with the Nifty is that it has already made this structure one, two, three. What we're looking for is for this to just continue pushing up higher and higher. So this structure here will just be a corrective structure like this, one, two, three, for this to continue pushing up higher okay so this is a bit premature to be focusing this structure let's wait and see what structure is going to play out still quite a, uh, premature to focus this one for another leg all right so that's that on the indices let's have a look at the cryptocurrencies uh, let's look at bitcoin now bitcoin what we looked at yes the last week was that there's two possibilities here Either Bitcoin is done with this three-way structure and we are going to see much lower levels before we see upside, okay? Now, if we invalidate this structure, there's an invalidation for this structure. If we invalidate this structure and this continues to push to the upside, that means this is the start of a move to the upside that could get us to see again uh, 40,000 on Bitcoin. So we are watching this. Likely the structure here is still one, two, three. We're going to still see Bitcoin see lower levels. So that's what we're looking at on Bitcoin. Let's see how that plays out. Ethereum also looking interesting here in the structure that it has played out because it has made the structure that looks like a complete three wave structure that can get us to make a move to the downside. Now with that structure, you can expect that Ethereum can see Again, lower levels before pushing to the upside. But then, again, this needs to be confirmed around this area whether Ethereum is not going to make a continuation pattern. If it makes a continuation pattern and invalidates the structure, that means we're going to see uh, levels as far high as 3,000 again on Ethereum. Will those be the moves that will result in the cryptocurrencies uh, regaining their new highs again? That still remains to be seen. We need to wait for that confirmation first. All right, so Litecoin was clear uh, in the way that it has played out because we have been focusing that uh, Litecoin will play out as follows. It has also got a what we had looked at as a three-wave structure and expecting this to make a move to the downside. Then again, if this move to the downside does not happen, and we get this one building up here for a continuation pattern, that will invalidate that purple structure and we're going to start seeing a move to the upside so for now we wait for that confirmation to see whether these three wave structure here on a light coin uh let's put it back let's put this back back uh, let's go all right one two three 
Is that the three waves that we are looking for? Are we going to see new lows again here? Uh, new fresh lows on uh, Litecoin. So we want to see that structure. Let's wait for that confirmation. But now if we've seen, this is last, lastly uh, on Bitcoin, if you've seen most of the structures that I've given you are on the daily, not necessarily trade setups. This I'm doing so that you can start looking out for some trade setups in the lower degree if you know how to use your own strategy. But with our members, they know how we share the information with them in our trade setups. XRP, Ripple, we are looking for, we're looking for this structure to complete. It has completed regular flat clear. We are making a move to the downside like this. And then we'll be looking for this to make a continuation to the downside. Now, if this does not come to the downside and invalidates this structure, we're going to start seeing moves to the upside. Okay, so I was saying, I have mostly analyzed the, the week's market or this week's market on the daily time frame. That is because we're not really looking for trade setups much as yet. We'll be looking for those details in the week as the market unfolds in the lower time frames. We'll be looking for trading opportunities in the lower degrees. And we'll be executing accordingly. Thank you very much for watching. If you again, if you like our uh, content, give us that thumbs up, uh, like our charts, share them videos, and subscribe to the channel as well as uh, the bell notification button. That helps you to get the notification every time we upload a video. Trade responsibly. See you next week. Cheers, everybody. Bye-bye.